You know those home videos of moms who discover their child did something very naughty and it's like instant cringe? I feel like that's me as a person. <laughs> Welcome to my updated living room, in case you didn't see in the last video, um, surprise. It's still not complete, we still have a few pieces of furniture that we need to get rid of slash add to the room. I still haven't completely cleaned up from painting, <laughs> it's been like two weeks. Today I am coming at you with another hair dye video. It is that time of the month that my hair is just sort of starting to look as eloquently as I can put it. <laughs> so it's time to zhuzh it up with some hair dye. And you guys seem to like my hair dye videos for whatever reason, so I figured I would document what I've been doing recently because it seems to change literally all the time. I get a lot of questions about my hair color and how I achieve said hair color, which I think is pretty common when you have kind of a man-made red. <laughs> I also get asked a lot if I still use henna. No, I haven't used henna for a while. The last time I used henna was Lush's henna. Henna, henna, henna. What I have been using, and which you have maybe seen me use before is Arctic Fox. So a few months ago, I did a video where I tried out this, which is Sunset Orange. I thought that it was gonna give me just kind of the copper that I was looking for, but it turned out to be not this color. <laughs> it came out kind of Ariel. Ask. Now I think there are a few reasons why that happened. One, because my hair is already red, it just kind of added to the red color, therefore making it more physically red and not orange. I do now realize that I think Arctic Fox, their colors are mostly made to go over bleached hair and pretty much as white as you can get the main base to be, the more accurate you're gonna get the color that it's supposed to be. That being said, I posted that video, and I will reiterate, it is totally my fault that it came out that color, but Arctic Fox, being the sweet, precious angels that they are, sent me an email saying, hey, we saw that, you know, Sunset Orange didn't work out completely how you wanted it, so we wanna send you our copper concoction and three of the bottles that you'll need, which is so sweet of them, and I don't, deserve that because I was just a dummy. So, <laughs> main point of this video. To make the copper concoction, they sent me three colors. Sunset orange, cosmic sunshine, which is yellow, purple rain, which is kind of surprising. I have been doing this for a couple months now and I didn't want to make a video on it initially because I wanted to make, <laughs> because I wanted to make sure that I got it right. And the past couple months that I've done it, it's come out still a little bit too red and not enough bright orange, which is kind of what I'm going for. So along with these three bottles, they sent me this little formula. Give me the formula only. Now I'm not claiming that I am super precise with these measurements, but I do the best that I can. And I have learned to tweak it a little bit, which you will see, but essentially, I still think that I am adding too much of the Sunset Orange. So basically what you're supposed to do is a buttload of Cosmic Sunshine, <laughs> some Sunset Orange, and then just a tiny bit of Purple Rain. Now because Cosmic Sunshine is yellow, it is very, very, very easily washed out by other colors. So once you start adding the Sunset Orange, it just kind of becomes Sunset Orange. I think this time I'm gonna go very heavy on Cosmic Sunshine, and then the other two less than I usually use. Science! Science. Another note on my sort of hair routine every month is that because this is a vegetable-based dye, it doesn't latch on to my roots, and I think that's because my roots are not damaged enough, if that makes sense. So basically this stuff latches on to this hair just because, you know, it's not baby fresh and it's a little bit damaged and more porous. So that way the color can seep in a little bit better. But with my roots and from what I've read other people's roots, it kind of just slides off because there's nothing to latch onto. 
So what I like to do is get a $3 box of hair dye from the store and then just do my roots. Now I've seen that there's some sort of protein powder or something that you can use to get hair dye to stick to your roots. So if any of you have advice on that, um, <laughs> give it to me. Let us take a step over into my laboratory. So as you can see, the formula consists of one part cosmic sunshine, one quarter part sunset orange, and then one eighth part purple rain. And like I said, I have kind of been playing around with this for a while, so mine is a tiny bit different. So we will start with cosmic sunshine, which is the yellow. And like I said, because this is such a translucent shade, we're gonna use a lot of it. That's just lovely. And then I'm gonna use Sunset Orange. Uh, well, welcome to my channel. I have the sense of humor of a four-year-old. And then I'm gonna mix that just so I can have a base idea of what the color is so far. Purple, just a little bit of it. I kind of just keep adding. <laughs> but I don't think I'm gonna add any more purple to this. I think it's definitely as dark as I kind of want it to be. Mm, I'm gonna add a little bit more yellow, just cause. Lovely. So that already is looking better than my previous concoctions that I'd done. Um, I have a feeling this will come out more orange than red, which is essentially what I'm going for here. Now that we've got it all mixed, I'm going to lather it on my head. And again, because it's vegetable based, don't be afraid to leave it on your head for a while. I usually leave it on for a couple hours. Some people say they leave it on for way more than that, but honestly, I don't think it makes too much of a difference. It's gonna fade anyways. So um, I will leave it on for a couple hours and then I will wash it up. I am definitely not elegant when it comes to dyeing my hair. I don't use a hair dye brush or anything, which I know is sacrilege in the hair community. So I'm sorry for that. So let's give this concoction a try. Because my hair is not starting off super white, I know that it's kind of hard to tell if it actually worked or not. So what I do have is this weft of human hair, which I got but never ended up dying. So I figured it might be easier for you to see what the color is gonna look like on something like this. Gotta be thorough. To get started, I do have some gloves. Again, I am not very professional when it comes to this stuff, so if this stuff makes you cringe, then shield thine eyes. So I am going to section off my hair to make it easier. I'm not a barbarian. I have not dropped any on the floor. I'm not saying I need your validation, but be proud of me. <laughs> So I ran out, I am going to mix some more, hopefully as close as I can to the first batch. Hello darkness, my old friend. That was not a good idea. Why did you let me do that? I thought you were my friend. Oh no. <laughs> you know those home videos of moms? who discovered their child did something very naughty and it's like instant cringe. I feel like that's me as a person. <laughs> I'm gonna throw this baby on to number one, protect my head because you would think it'd be a challenge to wipe your scalp on things and get hair dye all over your house. But for me, it's possible. <laughs> Not only will this protect my house, but it will also lock in some of that moisture. So now I'm gonna do the extensions. I don't know if this will actually work. The hair might be too healthy because it doesn't seem to be really sticking in there. It kind of just looks like Regina George got in a food fight. 
So now that my hair is setting and our little rat tail is now soaked, I'm gonna leave it alone for a few hours and then I'm gonna wash it up. But with the magic of editing, you will see what it looks like. Just about now. Here is the final color. As you can tell, it's not a huge difference from what I originally started with. What I like about this color combination is that it's very natural looking. I still have yet to find a good, very vibrant copper, but this is probably my favorite solution so far. It's very easy. It's not as time consuming as henna or as messy. Maybe scratch that last part. And it's also relatively cheap. Did end up using the whole bottle of yellow this time, but I still have plenty of the orange and purple left, and I have since they sent it to me, so that was like four months ago. So really, whenever I wanna do this, I only really need to stock up on yellow until the other two wind down. So that's, what, $10 a month or something like that, $15 a month. I will show you what my little pet looks like. <laughs> Uh, it was a little weird bringing her into the shower with me. And it's a horrible dye job, I know. A lot of the blonde is kind of peeking through, but it gives you a better idea of what this color combination looks like on very, very light hair. I think that's very interesting. <laughs> that's it, I don't know if this was interesting at all, but like I said, you guys seem to like my dye videos and Let's be honest, I wasn't feeling very creative this week because I did have my cosplay convention this weekend. Um, so I've been recovering a little bit from that. But we will get back to creative, fun, vintagey content next week. But yes, that is it. I love you guys, whether you're new or old to this channel. If you're new here and you feel like sticking around, feel free to subscribe. I upload every week and we have fun here. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Hi <laughs> neighbor. You're just you're just always outside, aren't you? <laughs> Good for you. So Yep. Oh. Purple. Just a tiny bit. Don't know what that was. Am not super professional. <laughs> so I am going to section <gasps> Worst. I'm the actual worst. It's gonna be mad at me. Oh yeah. Okay, well. None on the floor. But literally every other surface in my entire bathroom. It's fair game. So I'm gonna curl her up like a little snake. Oh, it looks nice when the sun's out. Sun's out, ginger out. <laughs> It's freaking hot in here, but my electricity bill was through the roof last month, so I'm not using any AC because I'm poor. <laughs> oh, he's beautiful. You wanna be on top?